how do we improve the investment GDP ratio? As we were moving towards that, unfortunately, COVID came that did uh, put us on a, uh, uh, on a bit of a back burner. But as we all know that Pakistan has been one of the few countries that has been able to manage its COVID uh, well. And those results are being seen now. Ease of doing business was one of our main areas of focus because unless we make it easier for our business people to register their companies, all their permits, um, it's a very, it acts as a resistance uh, to that investment and how can our investment GDP ratio improve. I would just like to give some indication of what we feel is happening right now. I don't know whether you uh, saw that report, but just the other day, uh, the overseas chamber, which is a chamber of all the large uh, multinationals, they have been presenting a business confidence report for the last, I've been watching it for the last three years. And I do remember the report when they came to me and presented it and said this is what the business community is thinking of the government, of the economic environment, of the confidence in your uh, policy. And uh, two years ago, it was negative on all scores. Businessmen did not have the confidence. Um, and the report that has come out uh, just the other day, um, there has been, alhamdulillah, a dramatic, and I'll use the word, a dramatic swings in the positive direction of 75% uh, or more that the business community has now got that confidence uh, in, the, um, in the government and the investment environment, the um, export environment is now improved. So what has brought all this uh, thing? How is it that things have changed and what has, uh, what has the government done? I'd just like to talk on a few of those very important ones. Underlining this whole thing, there's been a tremendous effort by the BOI in improving our ease of doing business. As uh, the secretary, she said, our ranking is going up. We are perhaps one of the few countries that keeps reminding the World Bank, when will your report come out? Because we are very excited. We know we've done a lot of work. So we know and we're confident that our ranking uh, will uh, go up and hopefully uh, it will. So that's the underlining current and a lot of effort by all the people um, so it is a, um, it is a source of uh, pleasure. Uh, up, really, uh, you've been in very, very uh, at the, at the uh, bedrock of it. Now, if we look at the trends that for the last three years, at the beginning, when this government came in, there was de-industrialization. We brought that down, it stabilized. Once it's stabilized, now we've got into the growth phase. And uh, now the word that we want to have is how do we sustain this growth? Uh, yesterday, uh, the Ministry of Planning, every month, they give an indicator to the cabinet so in the cabinet, the economic uh, indicators were presented. Uh, so that means all cabinet members know exactly uh, the state uh, of the economy on all the parameters, be them exports, imports, current account deficit, trade deficit, uh, investments, um, fiscal deficit, all the parameters. and. Uh, we were very happy to note that the economy is moving in the right direction. 
indicators are good. Uh, obviously, there is no country in the world that doesn't have economic challenges. And we're no different. We have uh, our challenges. Our challenges are imports are rising uh, very quickly. Uh, our challenges are that we do see um, current account deficit uh, there. But the good news was that the uh, state bank and the uh, financial ministry have said it is under manageable parameters and that um, uh, our economy uh, is on the right track. If this is the case, now the issue that we have, and it's a very interesting one, and that is what should be the speed of recovery. Various schools of thought, uh, better to go steady. Others say, no, this is an opportunity, let us uh, move fast. But those are the debates that will carry on. And immediately after this meeting, I'm going to the, uh, uh, the quarterly meeting of the Monetary and Fiscal uh, Coordination uh, Committee. And again, this thing will be debated as to how uh, we are doing. So what have we done that has brought, out, brought about this uh, stabilization, that has brought about this uh, degree of uh, uh, confidence? For one of the first items that we did is that we put a much, much greater focus on exports. We want exports and exports and exports. So that is a focus and that has shown that um, uh, we, did, we have achieved uh, in the fiscal year ending on the 30th of June, we got the highest uh, export of goods uh, ever. Uh, our exports of services, particularly IT services, uh, grew by 47%. Our growth of uh, value-added textiles grew minimum 26% and maximum in some sectors 36%. So all our export parameters. And the targets that we have set for this year that we're in right now, ending 30th of June 22, we have set the highest uh, target ever in our history. Inshallah, I'm very confident at this stage that we will, uh, uh, we will achieve it. Our target for goods for the month of uh, July, uh, we did meet them. Uh, up to now, when I see the results as of two days ago, for the uh, month of August, challenging. We may not meet them, but they will be quite close to the target that we have set for the year. Uh, 